On your mark, get set, go! changing our city's downtown pots from summer plants to fall plants. And some of our pots still look really good, so it's a little hard to do, but if we don't get our fall plants in and going, then they don't have time to look awesome before the end of the season. So this is the process. We go through, we tear all the plants out. Um, my mom is actually, and my brother and my dad, they're all out here helping. Um, and we go along and we uh, rub the pots with Danish oil, and that makes them look nice and shiny and bright and new again. Uh, and then we'll go through and plant them, and I'm putting in cone boxwoods and pansies for the fall season. Uh, so it should be a nice, fresh look. So on a couple of the pots, the corner's too busy and we can't park right by the pot, so we have to walk. So I get to make a big spectacle carrying this huge potato vine across the street right now. So Victor's been going along and loosening up all the plants for us, so he's probably already done. He's so fast. Victor's the right-hand man down here at the nursery. So we have 26 pots total and four left to clean out. Okay, we're all done. We've got all 26 pots cleaned out. And that's my brother Joe right there. So he's down here working at the, uh, our nursery and then he also teaches at the community college. So I think this is the fastest we've ever cleaned out the pots ever. How does that guy rate having all his stuff unloaded for him? We always have to unload our own stuff. It's BS. It's always good to take things personally. I do. It's, it's, it always makes you feel better. Yeah. You know? Hi. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm gonna have to come forward a bit. Yeah, pull forward. And, uh, do you have anything in the kitchen? No. Okay. Picking that stuff yeah, up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna pick up here. Okay. We're at our sanitary service place right now. They call it the transfer station. Anyway, we just dumped all the stuff and we're out of here. So a lot of you might be concerned that we just dumped these plants, but they're annuals, so they're only meant to last for one season. And um, honestly, it's supposed to start getting pretty cold and they would go really fast. And I don't want the, pot, the downtown pots ever to look bad, ever. Like they've been touched by frost. So anyway, getting the fall plants in early enough to where they have time to root in and grow a little bit before it gets really cold is essential. Um, and that way we have some really nice fall pots to look at. So quick break, because why mom? Because I figured out that these 18 planters had to be done today instead of next Friday. <laughs> That's an old SA-13 moment right there. <laughs> just doing some fall stuff. Is this for a wedding, Mom? It's for healing. It's called um, Surviving Hearts. It's people that have survived cancer. So anyway, it's for an event. Um, I think they're centerpieces, right? They are. And they're going to bid on them and they're for them to take home. So we'll get these done real quick and then we'll go back out and finish. There's a tree service here right now taking out a huge tree in front of our nursery. Uh, what kind of pear? Uh, it was a Bradford, Bradford pear. pear. It was sick, it's been sick for a while. It's not really a good idea to have a sick tree in front of a nursery, so no. decided it had to come out. So that's the noise up there. Okay, so we just got all of the centerpieces done. Um, so now we're just gathering up, making a ticket for them, and then we can go back out and plant the pots downtown. Uh, 13 flats total of orange for just the downtown pot. So how many yellows did we get? Um, and then how many oranges did we get total? Um, okay, so basically we just need to put 16 um, pansies in each pot. So these are the plants we're putting in the downtown pots. We're gonna be using these Cool Wave yellow. These are a trailing pansy, which we thought would be kind of a cool, yeah. a cool look, because um, we're used to stuff trailing out the sides. And then these orange. And then a few of these copper fields because I didn't have enough yellow for all that we needed. They're really pretty. And then we've got hay racks on the front fence of the nursery and we always match the hay racks to what we're doing downtown. So they're leftovers, all of those will be in hay racks. So anyway, we're gonna load everything up and go plant. Just got this DeWalt trimmer. So expect a comprehensive review when we're done. Out of gas? It's dead. Okay, I'll go get another fork. Mom, what? did you take the trimmer? It's in the pickup. Oh, he's gonna, okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh.
They just Somebody just bought this. Well, you can plant that and make it straight. Yeah. You can plant it. <laughs> I don't know if we can split it up. I mean, that would mean we only have a one per pot. But we can get copper fills in later. We're planting some, these are uh, winter gem, right? Winter gem boxwood cones and then pansies around the outside and we plant pansies because they do awesome in the fall. Like in a couple of weeks, uh, we'll fertilize them today when we're all done. A couple of weeks they will be like this big and full of color and beautiful. And they last really well through our winter. Um, in fact, some of them can winter over and come back, which is crazy because yeah. we get really cold and they're exposed, but pansies are tough. So now we race. You started before me though, you got a head start. Not true. Yes it is. <laughs> She's a bully with her soil. She always gets her hole ready and then fills mine up. So I've got my hole ready to go and she like scoots a bunch of soil, there are, right? There are ways to win. <laughs> I think. We are watering them in now um, and I'm kind of deflecting the water a little bit just till the soil is settled a little bit. So we have to fill this. We have a 150 gallon tank. Um, when I do a big watering because we're going to try to um, have this last till Sunday and it's Friday today. Um, I'll use over 150 gallons so we have to go back and fill right after this pot. Uh, but I'm just fertilizing so everything's going to be watered in really well and fertilized and we'll fertilize every week once a week. Um, for the next few weeks until the pansies have some good growth. And blooms. And I'm tired. <laughs> I am like, I am hitting the, the end of the day. We started at 8 a.m. and it's like close to five now. So it's been quite a day. And then I'm gonna go home and water all my plants. So another two hours of watering ahead of me at home. Good thing I love it. So that is what it's like to go out and switch out the pots. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye. I don't want to show that on camera. I'm gonna show my gross hands, gross garden hands. No, no, they do.